Hello, welcome to RHS Quick Tech, brought to you by Robertson Heating Supply. Today, we're gonna to be looking at the modulating gas furnace and how to adjust the gas valve. That would be the R98MV and the U98MV, respectively, for ream and rood. Please be careful when adjusting these furnaces, as shortcuts and improper insulation can impede on the comfort and efficiency these furnaces can provide. Uh, some tools for today. We'll need a manometer with associated fittings such as a bar fitting, a small thermostat screwdriver, as well as associated hand tools. My name is James. Let's get started. Next we'll want to remove the combustion door here. As you can see, we have our modulating gas valve here. To the left is our inlet, and then to the right is our output. The inlet measuring port is just here underneath, and the outlet port is over here on the side. Let's take a closer look. Here we can see the plug for the inlet gas pressure port. To remove it, we'll simply use a service wrench with a 516 head. Please note you might need to remove this high pressure switch in order to get enough room. All right, as you can see here, we have installed the brass plug into the service port. We can take our tube, press it on, make sure your manometer has been zeroed, and then we simply turn on the gas pressure. As you can see here, we're reading 8.8, .8, which is nominal for natural gas. For natural gas, we want to be between 5 inches of water column and 10.5 inches of water column. For LP, or natural gas, you'll want between 11 inches of water column and 13 inches of water column. Now you'll just want to disconnect the gas and reinstall the plug. Here we can see the Here we can see the outlet pressure port. This will tell us how much gas pressure is being supplied to the manifold. You remove it in a very similar way. First, be sure to turn off the gas supply. Then, remove the plug and install a threaded brass insert. Once your plug is installed, take your manometer, which has been zeroed, and install the tube onto the outlet. Next, turn on your gas supply and then we're going to go to the thermostat to initiate a call for heat. To initiate a call for 100% gas valve or high fire, we we'll first want to go to menu, service, furnace checkout, furnace test, and finally go to high and start test. This will initiate a high heat call on the furnace. To cancel, we simply select and set back to off to stop the test. So I've just started a call for heat from the thermostat using the furnace checkout function. It may take a few minutes for it to get past its calibration phase, but once at full firing, we can make our adjustments. As you can see here, I have the manometer just on the gas valve, which is behind here. Our tube is going to the outlet, so the manifold gas pressure port. 
And here you can see that we have a plus and minus for the adjustment screw in here. You'll need a small thermostat screwdriver in order to reach in there. As you can see, we fired. And we'll be able to adjust once it's a steady fire. So the furnace has been operating for a little bit now. As you can see, we're right at 3.72 inches of water column. Ideally, we should be at 3.5 inches, plus or minus uh, 3, 3, uh, 0.3 inches, just for temperaturized adjustment. In this instance, I'm going to adjust it down in order to reach 3.5. So I'll take our thermostat screwdriver here, insert it, and you'll feel it click. As you can see, it goes down. Wait a few moments after every adjustment. Just so it normalizes. You can do four full rotations either way from the stock factory setting. So if your gas pressure is way off, you might need to turn a few times and then let it adjust. But as you can see, we're now at exactly 3.5 inches of water column manifold pressure which for the purposes of this demonstration is perfect. Next, we'll have to initiate a low call heat on the thermostat. In order to initiate a low call or 40% call for gas valve, for our second part of the adjustment, we go to menu, service, furnace checkout, furnace test, and arrow over to low and press start test in order to adjust the low gas pressure. Please again note this figure for LP should be between 11 and 13 inches of water column, which I'll display again here. As you can see here, after a few moments, we've leveled off at 0.68 inches of water column for natural gas manifold pressure. For natural gas, we'll want to be between 0.56 inches of water column, plus or minus 0.1. And for LP or propane, we'll want to be 1.6 inches of water column, plus or minus 0.2. Again, I'll have that on the screen here. But again, just like before, we'll take our screwdriver Put it in there and we need to go down to approximately 0.56 so I'll do two clicks and wait wait to see where we level off and there we go we are at 0.55 which is acceptable for our installation once we've finished calibrating the valve here, we can go ahead and turn the thermostats off. We can turn the gas valve off. And then we can go ahead and remove and replace the gas plug here. And we're finished. The gas valve is calibrated. Thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to call the engineering department at 330-821-9180. And we're always happy to help. Thank you and have a good day.